Hello and welcome to this infographic. Walls erected at national borders foster a climate of division between peoples and growing intolerance and racism. There is therefore talk of building bridges, bridges across differences, bridges that allow for unity and pacification. Intercultural dialogue and intercultural competences become important, but what do they refer to? Is it about the individual, the community, society, or perhaps everyone? As human beings, we are part of what are called systems. We belong to a multiplicity of systems. The solar system, the earth system divided into continents, subdivided naturally or for geopolitical historical reasons into states. The European Union is a collection of states that, partly for geographical reasons, but above all for historical, economic, and political reasons, have organized themselves. Europe is a collection of multiple cultures. What is our identity, national or European? The national or ethnic one has given us a language, traditions, customs, a belonging transmitted from generation to generation. An identity inherited socially, in relation to culture that is changeable, free, varied. But we are in Europe we are a Western, and we share a common history. Identity is complex because it carries the different instances of the groups to which we belong, gender, age, religion, socio-cultural level, profession. Belonging is therefore multiple, transversal and parallel. Everyone, in relation to these systems, constructs his or her own unique identity. But it is changeable, in continuous transformation. It is precisely contacts, relationships that stimulate us to openness and enable new learning. Globalization has further expanded the possibilities of hybridization of our identity as members of social and cultural groups that are no longer distinct, but widespread. Creating collaborations, especially intercultural ones, means understanding and pooling different belongings, making them a resource. Human relations intersect in informal and formal networks and interpersonal relationships of varying intensities increase between inhabitants of different countries. This network is increasingly dense and envelops the entire planet. More cultures are present in societies, in schools, at work. Clashes are new and bring new forms of culture, but they can also bring conflict. This is multiculturalism. A policy aimed at recognizing, within the same country, the cultural and linguistic identity of each of the ethnic components. Intercultural dialogue is a necessary exchange, but in order to dialogue, one must know, meet, participate, and welcome diversity. Going beyond one's own borders to create more and more intercultural partnerships based on collaboration and exchange. If culture is not fixed or imposed, but is constantly created and reconstructed in interaction, we ourselves can be active agents of change, and bridge builders. With a broader view of the transnational but with concrete actions in the local, we can make a difference, for us and for our community. Good job! Now that you understand the meaning of this infographic, intercultural partnership, we invite you to delve into this topic through the CQ Plus Learning Path.